Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Now, with the gift wrapping, am I the only one where if there's a blank space because I didn't have enough wrapping paper just to cut another little patch? Square, and no. put it right up. No, you're using... That's an expert move. You're just putting things in bags, I thought. You're skipping the whole wrapping thing. That's a good idea. I can't, bags I are do, better. I do gift bags. Tissue paper, that's it. <laughs> I do gift bags because I can't wrap yet. I will be wrapping at the mall tomorrow. <laughs> All right, take a look at uh, conditions outside. It is still snowing, but really this is going to be ending within the next roughly 30 minutes down in places like Narragansett where you've picked up uh, about an inch or two of snow. I'll show you some accumulations, some reports. Uh, that have come in. in. Bottom line, the roads are slippery, at least some of the secondary ones. Temperatures are well below freezing, so anything untreated, go slow overnight. Temperatures will stay uh, well below freezing. It's between uh, 20 and 25 right now. So we'll keep the threat tracker in the yellow category, even though the snow will be winding down shortly, just for some of these slippery side streets. Weekend overall looking okay. So, uh, Sunday day should be fine. It's really Sunday uh, night. We're going to watch for a mixture of a uh, wet snow and sleet. So clouds on the increase. Uh, the uh, morning and afternoon, it's dry, and then some mixed precipitation late uh, Sunday night into Monday morning. That's the next chance for precipitation. Satellite and radar composite showing what's left of the snow pulling away from Rhode Island. Give it another hour or two in southeast of Mass, and then the whole thing is gone. Uh, weak storm system and a quick one, too, moving rapidly to the north and east, and then drier air uh, coming in behind the system will work in during uh, the overnight hours. Take a look at future and we'll walk you through it. And you can see the snow in purple right about now, getting ready to edge out to sea. In fact, by 1 o'clock in the morning, skies are already clearing out, and we'll keep the conditions cold right through early tomorrow morning, waking up to sunshine at 7 a.m. 25. We should tap out somewhere between 30 and 34 during the afternoon with plenty of sunshine, no weather problems. It'll stay dry even tomorrow evening, tomorrow night at around uh, 9 o'clock Saturday night, 10 o'clock, looking at temperatures, though cold, dry in the upper teens to lower 20s. Uh, this is pretty much the forecast from earlier this morning and throughout the evening hours. Uh, the areas in purple uh, forecasting anywhere from 1 to 3. And then Providence Northwest uh, a dusting to an inch. Uh, TJ in the situate uh, coming in with uh, just under a half inch. And that certainly verifies the dusting. I got a report from Mike in Westerly of 2 inches and just got a report uh, from New Bedford at 1 inch of snow. And it's still snowing there. You may add uh, probably another half inch in New Bedford ending up with an inch and a half overall. So on this one to three inch forecast in purple, more than likely going to verify on the low end. Bottom line, as expected, it's not a whole bunch of snow, but it is enough to cause some uh, slick roads, so be careful. We're back to sunshine uh, tomorrow morning. Temperature starting off at uh, 25, and during the afternoon now, it's looking good. At times, we'll see some periods of clouds, but otherwise dry. Three o'clock in the afternoon, 33. Seven-day future cast. We'll start with sunshine on Sunday, then increasing clouds, 32. And again, this is a dry during the daylight hours, but some snow and sleet mixture arriving at night, later at night, and extending into early on Monday morning, changing to rain temperature at 40. Tuesday looking okay, a lot milder, cooler Wednesday and Thursday of next week with high temperatures in the upper 30s. Snow ending shortly, next one to two hours. Be careful if you have late night and early morning travel. Obviously, there are some slippery areas out there, so take it slow. Good advice. Thank you, Tony. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 11, an